We're going to talk about licenses with inside of Power BI and how you can assign those licenses to accounts within Office 365. Hi, I'm Adam Saxon, and welcome to Guy in a Cube, a channel dedicated to helping you and your company gain insights by learning and exploring the Microsoft Business Intelligence stack. Last couple of weeks, we've talked about how you can actually get Power BI and how you can either use a trial tenant or actually establishing the Power BI Pro with inside of your environment. This week, we're going to talk about those licenses and how we can assign those to users. So one requirement right off the bat is this requires a managed tenant. So if you signed up for Power BI and there's no declared admin or you're not even sure, then you probably either need to go through an IT admin takeover or you need to go get a free trial to actually get to the admin experience. To do that, you can refer back to my video from two weeks ago where I talked about how to actually get a test tenant for Power BI. All right, let's talk about the actual licenses really quick. There is the Power BI free license, and then there's the Power BI Pro license. Those are the two license types for Power BI that you can have with inside of a tenant. To get a Power BI free license, you can actually just sign up for Power BI from PowerBI.com, and this will automatically apply a Power BI free license to your account. This actually will create the free unlimited license block with inside of your tenant if you don't already have it. Now, if your admin's actually blocked viral signup or the ability to sign up like through PowerBI.com, and you'll know that because you'll get a message saying your IT admin has blocked that. The tenant admin can actually add Power BI free licenses with inside of the Office 365 admin portal. So you can do that by going to the admin portal, and that's portal.office.com, and then selecting admin, and then go to billing and add a subscription. At that point, you wanna scroll all the way down to other plans, and you'll see Power BI free listed there. Select buy, you're not actually gonna pay for anything, and you can add the number of licenses that you wanna to add to your tenant. This is the other way to get the free, free licenses. This will not add the free unlimited license block though. That only gets added if you do the viral sign up. So let's talk about Power BI Pro. The easiest way to get a pro trial for your tenant is to actually just use a pro feature inside of the Power BI service and you'll get prompted to try Power BI Pro for 60 days. If you do that, that doesn't actually add a license to your tenant. You won't see that in the Office 365 admin portal at all. This is managed on the service side, and it's a per user pro trial. Now, if you wanna manage this from your Office 365 tenant, and you wanna do this through the admin portal for Office 365, you can do that by going to the admin portal. So go to portal.office.com, select admin, go to billing, and then add subscriptions and go all the way down to other plans and you'll see Power BI Pro there. You can select start free trial when you hover over the ellipse. This will give you 25 licenses for the trial for Power BI Pro. Okay, now we've got our licenses, we know what's in our tenant. So how do we manage those licenses and how do we assign those licenses to users? One of the ways you can do that is by doing it through the Office 365 admin portal. Go to the users area and then in there select the user you want to manage. In the flyout you want to edit product licenses and then select the licenses that you want to apply to that account. If you don't see the license listed then it's possible that you didn't go through one of the previous steps that we did to add the license block. For example if you didn't see the Power BI Pro license there, one it's either part of the E5 license that you have and or you didn't add Power BI Pro trial to the tenant or you actually signed up for Power BI Pro by using the 60 day pro trial with inside of the service. Again, you won't see that license listed there in the Office 365 admin portal. Another way you can do this is by doing a bulk assign and the way that bulk assign works is just select multiple accounts and then assign those licenses in the same way that we did the individual user. And then the last way that you can manage licenses is actually through PowerShell. So if you use the Azure Active Directory PowerShell module, there are commandlets for the account management within inside of there where you can assign licenses. You can see the licenses that you have. You can see uh, what those uh, blocks are, how they're designated. I'm not gonna go through all of that in 
this video, but just know that there is a way to do this through PowerShell if you want to script it, like if you have a large number of users that you want to do this with, you can do that. Okay, let me know if you have any questions or comments. I know this was pretty short and brief and to the point, but go ahead and leave that down in the comments block below. And also, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Every Tuesday, I take a look at a technical item such as this, where I look at how something works, how to troubleshoot something, or just look at a new feature. And every Thursday, I do an information roundup where I look at the last week, find things that were interesting to me, and share that out with you. And really, this is about you. I wanna help you be more effective and successful in the things that you do. So go ahead and subscribe and be part of the conversation.